God face to face, which we know that does not mean he actually did, but that he has had an encounter with God. Um, the Bible's clear, no man will see God's face and live. So that's not what he means, but he means that he's had a personal encounter with him. It does not mean that God is an angel. It means an angel was present. God's present was presence. The, the struggle against the angel was really Jacob's struggle against God. And that he has won. What does that mean? He's won the, the patience of God. I hope that's humbling that that I won the patience of God and that he's still on my side after all my lack of discipline and, and my wrestling with him. We shouldn't do that. And it's amazing how patient God can be. Um He said, I have seen God face to face and face and yet my life has been spared because you wouldn't live. You wouldn't live in the presence of God if you're sinful and sin in God's presence. God would zap it. You, you would just be disintegrated. Um, the sun was rising as Jacob left Peniel and he was limping because of the injury to his hip. God didn't heal it. God didn't heal the, what the angel did to him. Remember, he was he was winning, and the angel said, let me go. And he says, I won't let go of you until you give me the blessing. And so the angel went and put his uh, hip out of socket. And to this day, the people of Israel don't eat the tendon near the hip socket. Because of what happened that night when the man strained the tendon of Jacob's hip. So... So much depth, we can't even go into it all. All right, this last chapter. Then Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming with his 400 men. And as you, this is for, uh, chapter 33, and you go through and see this story where he is trying to send stuff ahead and say, oh, please, oh, please don't destroy me. Um, and instead, Esau just loves him. He just... Um, where, what, chat, what verse is it where he says it? Um, it's right around 8 or 9 or 10. Jacob insisted, no, if I found favor with you. Oh, here it is. It's actually in verse 4. Then Esau ran out to him and embraced him, threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they both wept. And he looked at the women and children and said, who are all these people? He says, they're all my wife and kids. He's like, are you kidding? Um, and so he wants to give him flocks and herds and... Um, He, he, Jacob explains to him that he's giving him all that because he wants to give him a gift of friendship to ensure his friendship. And he says, Esau has, I, I have plenty. I don't need anything from you. And, um, so keep that for yourself. He goes, no, if I found favor with you, this will please at least accept my gift uh, that I brought for you for God's been very gracious to me. And Jacob insisted and finally he, Esau accepts the gift. So, um, but Jacob does ask him, he says, look, some of the kids are young and some of the animals in their herds are very young and they won't make this trip to get all the way back. But if, we'll, if we drive them too hard, it, it's, it's, it could kill them. And so we would like to follow at a slower, slower pace and um, hook up with you later. And he's like, that's fine. Let me assign some of my men to guard and protect you. And he goes, no, that's really not necessary in verse uh, 16 of uh, 15 he says it's enough that you've received me so warmly and so um esau turned around and started back to see her that day jacob on the other hand traveled to succoth where he built himself a house made shelters for his livestock and that's why the place to this day is called shelters so um jacob arrived safely in town of shechem and the land that's going to be important here um the land of shechem and the land of canaan the town of Shechem in the land of Canaan, where he set up camp outside, he brought a plot of land. He bought a plot of land where he camped from the family of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for a hundred pieces of silver. And there he built an altar and named it El Alhaloi Israel, um, which means God, the God of Israel. 
see how you just want to keep going on? That's why I ended up getting all the way to the end of Genesis because I just couldn't even stop. But that is all for today. Um, day two and day three will be these video series, and obviously they'll be in parts, so please forgive me, but isn't this interesting stuff? It's just a trip to me. Anyway, I love you, and I love God more, and I hope you do too. Tell me about your experiences as you're reading the Bible. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, 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 bye.